Why are you so angry with Dominic? Because Dominic has been neglecting his responsibilities, and if he doesn't step it up soon, he'll be taken off the job. You know, I don't work for you. I do my job my way, and if you don't like it, well, that's not my problem. He's right. He doesn't answer to us, he answers to Sonny. Yeah. And after how he saved Morgan at the carnival and rescued Lulu from freezing water, I think he's doing his job, Jax. Okay, I'm, I'm not arguing that. I'm just... He's supposed to be guarding Michael and Morgan, and I haven't seen much of that lately. I'm merely pointing that out, okay? I get to do that even though he doesn't answer to me. Oh, I guess you're unaware, but Sonny's reassigned me, which means I no longer get to watch over the boys. He wouldn't pull security without telling me. Look, they're okay. They're being watched 24-7. They're in good hands. Excuse me. <clears throat> What's really going on? Why are you so mad and why are you taking it out on Dominic? I'm stressed, I'm angry, and I'm not good at hiding it. Is this about me? You know, in the last week alone, I watched you taken hostage by a crazy woman. I couldn't do a damn thing about it. I couldn't rescue you. I was worried that I might lose you and the baby. And if that wasn't bad enough, my stepson killed a woman. And I'm forced to cover it up. I've been kicked out of my bedroom, and uh, I'm told that my marriage might fail. And every one of those events can be laid at Sonny's feet. Stop making this about Sonny. We have to focus on us. Well, tell me how. How can I save my family when you constantly give over control to your ex-husband so that he can decide what's best for that us? That is not true, Jax, at all! Sonny married the woman that shot his son, okay? Not because he loves her, but because it made good business sense. I don't understand why you're making this about Sonny. Because he infiltrates every aspect of our lives. But not Jocelyn. I'm gonna keep Sonny away from my little girl. Michael got about three of these when he was just a baby. Yeah. Michael loved his giraffe, that's for sure. Things never turn out the way you plan, huh? Well, maybe you can use a good surprise for a change. I could. I'd love it. Okay, well, I can't get into too much detail, but there's been an unexpected shift. And I think that it's really gonna help Michael. That's all you're telling me? You can't tell me more? I'm well, so sick of you, secrets. Okay, Come I on. I tell you two things. The first thing, that Sonny is in peace talks with the rival, and we're both hopeful that it's gonna work out. And the second thing is, um... I told Sonny that someone else has to take over... enforce her duties. I want to stay away from the violence. You're doing that for Michael, aren't you? I'm not saying peace talks with Joy Limber are going to be easy, but we got to start somewhere. And having Luke on our side is a good thing. He can convince Joey to see the obvious. If a war goes down, we all lose. But Joey Limbo, he, he is unreliable. He will turn on a dime. If he does, we'll deal with it. I hope you know by now you can trust me. That's a good thing, because I'm going to have to uh, reassign uh, certain aspects of Jason's job. Which aspects? Here's the thing. If, the, if peace talks don't go well, okay, you're going to have to get your hands dirty. You understand me? And I can't have a repeat of what happened with Tommy Soto. Are we clear? Like a bell. You give the order, I'll make sure it gets done. I think we are way overdue for a talk about boundaries and how to limit the threat you pose to my family. I don't want Michael following my example. Michael didn't mean to kill Claudia. I was there, Jason. That kid was scared to death. I understand. But I am respected for what I do. 
So Michael thinks the killing is, is worthy of respect. But you do what you do out of loyalty. Listen to you. You always justify the violence because you care about me. Well, I'm selfish that way. I can't help it. You've saved me and, and mine so many times that I'm I'm grateful and I don't really okay, care how it happened. Okay, but when you make happened. excuses for me, you give Michael the idea that what I do is okay and it's not okay, Carly. Why are you putting all the blame on your shoulders? I, I feel like I'm the only one who's troubled about Michael not seemingly to care that he killed Claudia at are all. You, I'm troubled. I'm scared to death for Michael. And you know what? If you could turn things around by, by leaving the business or taking some vow to be a pacifist, I would be cheering you on, but that's not going to happen. Michael's making his own decisions, and he's emulating Sonny. And we both know Sonny's not going to change. I, I, I want to be someone that Michael looks up to. I don't want him to think I'm special just because my hand doesn't shake when I shoot somebody. So much, and I think what you're doing for Michael is beautiful. I do. My God, I don't want you to risk your own life. You know, you used to be discreet, Jax. I don't know what happened, but the... kindly remove your goons from my property, or I will remove them myself. My boys need to be protected. How many times do I got to tell you that? Okay, no next in uh, dark suits attract attention to my house, Noth okay? Nothing puts my family in danger. Nothing you say will make me compromise Michael and Morgan's safety. Oh, is that what you told yourself when you drove Michael to kill your wife? Ouch. You know that's not what happened. You know, you seem to think that I have less at stake because I'm only Michael's stepfather, but I'll be damned if I will let you harm any children that live under my roof. You've been threatening me for years, and I'm still standing, and so are you. You know why? Because of your wife. You should thank her. That's the only reason I've tolerated you. Well, my tolerance for you has come to an end. Keep your distance from my family. I've spoken to Sonny about my decision. You realize if you try to do this for Michael, you could be putting you and Sonny okay, in a lot of danger. Go with if this truce goes through, there's that much less to worry about right now. And if it doesn't go through, I'm gonna need to figure something out. Please don't ignore the good that you've done. If it weren't for you, I might have lost my chance to be Michael's mother. I mean, you were everything to him. And even after Sonny took Michael as his own, it was your love and your patience that gave Michael all of his best qualities. And you've been so special to Morgan. I mean, don't underestimate what you've done for my kids and how you've helped them, please. I think Jocelyn wants her Uncle Jason. Hey. You know what? I have messed up plenty. And I have made tons of mistakes. But you are not one of them.